Hello everyone, welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson of physical optics, we are going to talk about Huygens wave theory and Huygens principle. Before Huygens wave theory, we have Newton's corpuscular theory, which is successful in explaining the reflection as well as the refraction. But there is one problem. Newton's corpuscular theory Newton's corpuscular theory failed to explain how light can have or how light can go through both reflection and refraction simultaneously. Both reflection and refraction simultaneously. The big problem that the theory has is light is like a tiny particle. If it is like a tiny particle, either it has to reflect or it has to refract. It cannot do both of them, but it is doing. So, how it is happening? Newton's uh, Corpuscular theory has no explanation. Also, according to Newton's corpuscular theory, velocity of the light is actually more in denser medium, but experiments proved that the converse is true, that the velocity of the light is actually more in rarer medium. Not only that, people have invented properties like interference and diffraction. Newton's corpuscular theory failed to explain all these things. So, to solve all these problems, Huygen has proposed a theory called Huygen's wave theory. So, according to Huygen, according to Huygen's, light doesn't travel like a corpuscule, rather light travels like a wave. Light travels like a wave. But there is a big problem to see the light as a wave. At the time of this Huygens proposing the wave theory, the only wave that is familiar to us is mechanical wave. So this mechanical waves obviously needs a medium for propagation. Light is traveling all the way from the space to the earth, from the sun to the earth. Then Huygen has to propose a medium through which light is traveling because by the time only known wave is a mechanical wave. So, Huygen proposed a hypothetical medium. Huygen proposed a hypothetical ether medium. He has given some godly properties like it is invisible, it is highly elastic, very low in density, so you won't be able to feel it, but that is still there. So, Huygen proposed a hypothetical medium called either medium through which light is traveling like a mechanical wave. To explain further that how does the light is traveling like a wave in a given medium, how does it is able to travel for a very long distance? He proposed a principle called Huygens principle. So, let us try to understand what is the meaning of this Huygens principle. We will explain by drawing a small diagram here. Huygens principle, let us try to explain by drawing a diagram here. Let us consider a kind of a source say a point source. Light travels with a constant velocity say 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second. So, in a given time, light travels a distance x equal to c into t in one direction. Light travels the same distance in the other direction also in the same time, same distance x. In fact, light travels the same distance in all directions simultaneously. So, if you consider these points, 
they will have a sort of a vibration because light is traveling like a wave where the particles of the medium are having a vibration identical to each of them the other way they are having a same phase phase is the position with respect to the main position with respect to the vibration being they are all starting from the same source traveling with the same velocity for the same time and covering the same distance they are all having similar kind of vibration about the main position at the same phase the line joining of all these particles who are in the same phase is being named as wave front so wave front is the line joining of all the points that are in the same phase so wave front is a join line joining of all the points are the locus of all the points line joining of all the points that are in the same phase that are in same phase people sometimes ask you that on the wave front the two waves are separated by a distance sometimes centimeters what is the phase difference between them it is to be zero because wave front means whatever may be their physical separation they are all in the same phase now according to huygens principle every point on the wave front acts like a source itself and propagates the light further in a forward direction according to huygens principle every point on wave front act like a source or a secondary source and propagates the light further in a forward direction propagates the light in forward direction so this yellow line who is a wave front every point on this wave front is again going to act like a source and in a given time in all directions it pushes the wave by the same distance so if you join all these lines once again what you get is called something like wavelet so all these points are also going to have every point on the wave front is going to act like a source and propagates the light further in a forward direction that's what's the significance of a huygens principle so you can join all of them you can get the spherical wavelets all these wavelets are actually spherical in the shape again you can see all these points are in the same phase Joining joining of all these points is called something like forward wave front, which is taking the light actually forward. That means every point on the wave front behaving as if like there is a source and propagating the light in a forward direction. In fact, we can also join the lines that are in the back, which is called something like a backward wave front. but the light is not going to go backward this backward wave front is not effective so there is a physical backward wave front it is not capable of traveling pushing the light in a backward direction therefore light doesn't travels in a backward direction backward wave front is not capable and effective so light travels always in a forward direction this is how Huygens principle is able to say that light is able to travel for a longer distance without any problem because every point on the wave front also acting like a primary source this wave front what is being generated is spherical in the shape so you can call this wave front as a spherical wave front as we are going away far and far the sphere becomes large and large and the wave front appears like a straight line then it is called something like a plane wave front so from a point source if you are looking at a wave front nearby it's a spherical wave front if you are moving little far that is a plane wave front of course if your source is a cylindrical shape then the wave front also will be in a cylindrical shape then it is called cylindrical wave front 
we will extend and use this theory further to understand the property of interference in physical optics thank you for watching keep coming back for more and more video lessons thank you